हेलो बच्चों कैसे हो होप एवरी वन इज़ फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट मस्ती के साथ साथ पढ़ाई भी करते होंगे वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल विथलम एकेडमी विच इज़ एन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल्फ भावेश पटेल आज हम लोग देसी के बारे में बात करेंगे थ्रू दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ डेसी मल्स अलॉन्ग विथ वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स सो लेट्स बिगन अवर लर्निंग जर्नी Let me tell you some steps for subtractions of decimals. First, we'll convert the given decimals into like decimals if they are unlike. Second step, write the smaller number under larger number. That means vertically align in column form. In such a way that decimal points and digits. having similar place values lies in the same column that's what we did during the addition of the decimals and then step 3 is subtract the decimal numbers in the same way we subtract the whole numbers that is right to left then step 4 in the difference put the decimal points directly under the decimal points of the given number Let's understand with some example. Subtract thirty-two point sixty-four from sixty-three point eight nine. So first, convert them in like decimals. Already they are like decimals because both have a two digits in the decimal part. Then we'll write the decimal numbers vertically, and align the decimal points as well as digits with similar place value. then next we will subtract the decimal numbers in the same way what we did for the whole numbers that is right to left the first 9 minus 4 that is 5 then 8 minus 6 that is 2 then step 4 here we'll put the decimal point then 3 minus 2 1 6 minus 3 3 so the required subtraction so required difference is 31 point Two five. Let's understand another example. Subtract eighty one point five from one hundred and thirteen point four one three. So first step, convert them in like decimals. Here there are three digits in the decimal part. Here only one. So let's add. Let's annex the two zeros. Now three digits, three digits. So they are like decimals. then write in the vertical write the decimal numbers vertically and align the decimal points as well as digits with similar place value then do the subtractions that is right to the left so 3 minus 0 that is 3 1 minus 0 1 four is weaker than five so it will borrow from 3 3 becomes 2 and this four becomes 14 Now fourteen minus five is nine. Then put the decimal point. Two minus one that is one. One is weaker than eight, so it will borrow from this one. This one becomes zero, and this one becomes eleven. Now eleven minus eight that is three. So required difference is thirty-one point nine one three. You can bring down this zero. Let's understand another example. find the difference between 22.4 and 101 so convert them in like decimals here one digit here there is no digit so let's put decimal point and annex the zero now in order to find out the difference between two decimals we have to first find out which decimal is greater that's why we have to compare both the decimals so for comparison first we'll compare the whole part here whole part is 22 and here whole part is 101 so 101 is greater than 22 that's why 101.0 decimal is greater than 22.4 hence we'll subtract 22.4 from 101.0 0 is weaker than 4 so it will borrow from next digit that is 1 
1 becomes 0 and this 0 becomes 10. Now 10 minus 4 is 6. Then put the decimal point. 0 is weaker than 2. It will borrow from 0 but 0 can't give anything. So it will borrow from 1. 1 becomes 0. This 0 becomes 10 but it has to give to the next digit. So 10 becomes 9 and this 0 becomes 10. Now 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 2 is 7. So required difference is 78.6. You can bring down this 0. Let's take the another example. Simplify 175.3 minus 104.645 plus 78.86 minus 47.9. So here the first step is we will do the rearrange, rearrange the order. So this addition will bring it down here and subtractions will be here. So this two will be interchange. Hence the given expression equals to 175.3 plus 78.86 minus in bracket 104.645 and here this becomes additions 47.9 now do the addition of two sets of decimal parts first we'll make it like so here we'll annex one zero here we'll annex two zeros because here there are three de three decimal place three digits are there so that's why we annex two more zeros now first let's do addition between these two 175.30 plus 78.86 6 plus 0 that is 6, 8 plus 3 that is 11, 1 and 1 will be carry over. Then decimal point 5 plus 1, 6 plus 8, 14, 4 here, 1 carry over, 7 plus 8, 7 plus 1, 8 plus 7, 15. So 5, 1 carry over and 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So the sum of 175.30 plus 78.86 equals to 254.16 then minus let's do summation of this two 104.645 plus 47.900 so 5 then 4 6 plus 9 is 15 so 5 1 carry over then decimal point 4 plus 1 5 plus 7 12 2 here 1 carry over 1 plus 0 1 plus 4 that is 5 and then this is 1. So required sum is 152.545. Now we have to do subtraction between these two decimal numbers. That is first we will make it like. So here three digits. So here we will annex one more zero. Now it is 254.160 minus 152.545. 0 is weaker than 5. So borrow from 6. 6 becomes 5. This 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 is weaker than 5. So it will borrow from 4. 4 becomes 3 and 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. Put the decimal point. 3 minus 2 is 1. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 2 minus 1 is 1. That means required difference is 101.615. That's the answer of the given numerical. Let's understand one more. What should be added to 81.9 to get 95.07? So let's say blank plus 81.9 equals to 95.07. Now take this in order to find out blank, that number. We will take this 81.9 to the right side. Hence, addition becomes subtractions. Make the both the decimal numbers like. So, we will annex 0 here. So, now we have to do difference. Subtraction between these two. That is 95.07 minus 81.90. 7 minus 0 is 7. 0 is weaker than 9. So, borrow from 5. 5 becomes 4. And 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 9 is 1, put the decimal point, 4 minus 1 is 3 
and 9 minus 8 is 1. Hence, answer statement will be 13.17 should be added to 81.9 in order to get 95.07. Let's understand another example. What should be subtracted from 123.7 to get 84.56? So, equation statement kya rega? 123.7 minus blank equals to 84.56. In order to find out blank, we'll take this blank on right hand side and 84.56 on left hand side. So, 123.7 minus 84.56 equals to blank. So we have to do difference between these two decimal. So make them like NX10 here. So it becomes 123.70 minus 84.56. 0 minus 6 that is not possible. 0 is weaker than 6. So it will borrow from 7. 7 becomes 6 and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, 6 minus 5 is 1, then decimal point, 3 minus 1 is 2, now this 2 is weaker than 8, so it will borrow from 1, so 1 becomes 0, 2 becomes 12, 12 minus 8, that is 4, hence answer statement kya aega, 42.14 should be subtracted from 123.7 to get 54.56 84.56 not 54 it's a 84 actually let's understand some word problems a barrel contained 210 liters of oil out of this 125.5 liters of oil was taken out in a smaller drum in black color this blue color 210 liters is 125.5 liters ka oil le liya. and 19.75 liters in a bucket this bucket how much oil is left in the barrel the bigger one let's solve so total amount of the oil in the barrel is 210 liters out of that oil taken out in the smaller drum is 125.5 liters apart from that some oil taken out in the bucket is 19.75 liters so first we'll calculate how much oil, how much total oil taken out from the drum in smaller drum and bucket. So we'll do addition between these two decimal numbers that is 125.5 plus 19.75. First we'll make it like so 125.50 plus 19.75. Fear vertically have column wise like there. 0 plus 5 that is 5. 5 plus 7, 12, 1 will be carry over, we will put the decimal point, 5 plus 1 that is 6 plus 9, 15, so 5, 1 carry over, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1 that is 4, and then 1, so 145.25 total oil taken out from bigger drum and kept in this smaller drum plus bucket now we have to find out how much oil is left out in the bucket uh, in, in the barrel the bigger one so oil left in the barrel equals to oil contained in the barrel minus oil taken out total oil taken out so oil contained in the barrel kitna hai? that is 210 liters and oil total oil taken out in this two that is smaller drum plus bucket that's what we have calculated 145.25 liters so we'll do difference 145.25 will be subtracted from 210 so this is a two decimal place decimal number so we'll cap 210.00 minus 145.25 let's do the difference subtraction between these two 0 is weaker than 5 so it will borrow from next digit that is also 0 that this one is also 0 so it will borrow from 1 so 1 becomes 0 this 0 becomes 10 but it has to give it to another 0 so it becomes 9 and this 0 becomes 10 
Once again, 10 becomes 9 and last 0 becomes 10. So 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. Then decimal point. 9 minus 5 is, yes, 4. Now this 0 is weaker than 4. So it will borrow from 2. 2 becomes 1 and 0 becomes 10. Now 10 minus 4 is 6. And 1 minus 1 is 0. That's why the answer statement will be, answer statement kya aega? 64.75 liters oil left in the barrel. Chale, now let's understand one more. The distance between Pooja's house and her school is 15 km. For reaching her house from the school, she covers 10 km 65 meter by bus, 3 km 75 meter by taking the lift on the scooter and the rest of the distance by walking. How much distance does Pooja cover by walking? So, kuch distance between house and school ka hai? While returning, wo bus mein aati hai, to 10 km 65 meter bus mein aai. Fair, 3 km 75 meters scooter pe aai, lift leke. और बाकी का जो डिस्टेंस बच गया वो बाय वॉक किया तो कितना डिस्टेंस वॉकिंग से किया सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दिस हाउ टू सॉल्व विल ऐड अप दिस टू फर्स्ट एंड दैट आंसर विल बी सबट्रैक्टेड बाय फ्रॉम टोटल डिस्टेंस सो डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय पूजा थ्रू बस इज 10.65 मीटर का मतलब 065 किलोमीटर फर्स्ट विल कन्वर्ट the given measures of length having two different units, kilometer and meter, ko bada unit mein convert karenge. So it is 10.065 kilometer. Then 3 kilometer 75 meter ka matlab hai, it is 3.075 kilometer. So distance covered by puja through lift, by taking the lift on scooter, is 3.075 kilometer. Dono ke bich mein addition karenge. So addition is 5 plus 5 0 plus 1. 6 plus 1 7. 7 plus 7 14. 1 carry over. So 1. Then 3 and 1. That is 13.140 kilometer is the total distance covered by puja through bus and scooter. Jabki distance to be covered from home to the school, from school to the home is 15 km. So that's why if I subtract this, the distance which is covered by bus and scooter, if I subtract, I will get the distance covered by walking. So distance covered by walking is 0, then 1.860 km. Hence the answer statement is, the distance covered by walking is 1.860 kilometer, that is 1 kilometer and 860 meter. So this is how you can do the subtractions of decimals. Now let's summarize what we have learned through this video. Things to be remember for subtractions of decimals, first Convert the given decimals into like decimal. Step number two, write the smaller number under larger number in a column form in such a way that decimal points and digits with similar place value lies in the same column. Then third step, subtract the decimal number in the same way what we did for the whole numbers. That is right to the left. And in the difference, put the decimal point directly under the decimal points of the given numbers. That's what we have to, we have learned through this video. Now at the end, I am giving you an exercise to do practice by yourself. It will help you to build up your confidence about the subtractions of decimals learned through this video. I will suggest you first understand the topic and then after attempt this exercise. Remember, maths can be learned through practice only and if you practice it without repeated error, maths will be very simple subject for you. 
So that's all about the subtractions of decimals. Once again, myself Bhavesh Patel from Vithram Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithramacademy at the red gmail.com. That is V I T H A L H A L A M A C A D E M Y at the red gmail.com. Thank you and wish you all the best.